Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jared Gaming. A game by K. Simpson, Too Far Gone. I haven't played any of the other games by this developer. Press enter to begin. Uh-oh. Not a great way to, ooh. Are we crazy? We, we're crazy, we're, we're in a padded room and we're crazy. Are these our, are these our hash marks? We've been here this long, is this blood? Okay, well, we're in a cell, but we already have a flashlight. Hello? Oh. I'm not a, I'm not a fan! I should have known that was gonna happen. <laughs> it is everywhere. That's not good. Ooh. Ooh. Whispers! To the canteen! Oh, to the dark hallway. To the canteen! Canteen. To the canteen. <laughs> Jesus! What did me? Okay. Uh, I was gonna say something about another canteen sign so close to the other canteen sign and... And then we got jump scared by something. Okay, on to the canteen! <laughs> monks? Is it monks? <laughs> What's that say? Escape. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello? What is it? Was that an elevator? I think that might be an elevator. Uh oh, I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. Elevator. Let me in. Whoa, what the frick was that? What was happening? Fries are done. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. You know why it's so dark? Because this flashlight that we are holding does not project any light. Because it's an indie horror game flashlight. All right, we can go to treatment, ward 12 or the elevator. So where should I go? Elevator, ward 12 or treatment? I mean, it's left or right either way. <sighs> oh, I don't like. Stop, stop it now with the noises, please. Ward 12. Hi, is this Ward 12? <laughs> oh. Punish the makers. Hold on, doctor knows best though. Visit the clinic now. Okay. <laughs> hearing anything strange, get checked up on as soon as possible. I, I'm hearing some very strange things. Well, Ward 12 was interesting. I'm looking for the doctor. Oh, drugs. Oh, that chair is bloody. Take the pill, get better. Simple as that. Ooh. Dr. M. John, journal entry 1211-1957. Most of the subjects are displaying interesting results to the new substances. Most interesting is some subjects become increasingly volatile and highly aggressive. So please, take some safety notice with that. Am I one of these patients? Have I become volatile? I mean, I, I did wake up in a cell. Really enjoyed my stay. Oh no! no, no. I can't move! Ah, I'm going crazy! I can't take any pills, I'm going crazy! What do I do? Is something after me? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what that means. Does that mean something's like trying to get me or am I just losing my freaking mind? Hey, that syringe doesn't belong there. Dr. D. Smith, Journal Entry 12-11-1957. Ah, Subject 11. Oh, yes, I have fond memories of Subject 11. Literally a complete lunatic and a pain to force his treatment upon him. He's also been sketching more of those creepy drawings. Claims there's a monster taking over. Probably something to do with the medication we are giving him. Not that morals and ethics matter over science, because they really don't. Wow. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? I don't like the implications. Ooh, more journal. Dr. T. Ritz. Damn, these lab rats are hard to jab. Their aggression is getting harder to control. It took several jabs to keep the last one docile. Could be worse though. I could have to deal with subject 11 again. I'm right here. I'm obviously subject 11, right? The shadows live. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's see about the shadows. We'll go right this time since we went left before. Ah, storage. Hope there's nothing horrible waiting for me. Here, <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> this is classic jump scare. It was literally nothing. It was like a cardboard cutout of a creature. 
Ah! Oh, are these the creepy monsters that they were drawing pictures of? Look at that key. Holy crap, it's huge. Picked up a key. Okay, got a key. I'm, I'm glad we went this way. Jesus, no! <laughs> that was the thing. It was the monster. We're clearly insane, right? It's all in our head, right? Nothing can hurt us. <laughs> uh, nothing can hurt us. The shadows live. Uh, hey, look at that. <laughs> a keyhole. Luckily, we got a key. Oh, oh, I'm moving. Ward 11. I don't know. If, Jesus, I don't know. Just go to the elevator. <laughs> Where are we going now? Oh. Where? Oh. They lie. They lie. Apparently they lie. Oh, stop. Stop breathing. Stop breathing on me. Oh. Is this where the experiments are kept in these... Gee. No, no, not again. I can't see. It's too shaky. I'm not moving. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh. That's not great. Ooh, hammer? I can't has? Oh, please. Let me has. They lie in wait, the shadows, and make me go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, that's the doctor. He's laughing at me. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. The elevator's boarded. Oh, dear. Oh. Acapella. He is coming. Oh, no. Elevator, 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 elevator. He is coming. Do we ever escape this place? Do we ever escape this freaking place? Bing. Hot pockets done. Make them pay. Whoa, what the frick happened out here? Oh. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this truck though. That's a paddy wagon if I've ever seen one. Mrs. Bird, if I can focus on it. Journal entry 10, 11, 1957. Our patient intake is slowing down and that is of great concern. Probably as a direct result of the rumors regarding the experiments. Maybe some PR spin can fix that. Even the receptionist is corrupt in this place. Oh, wow. Food, nightclub, bar, hotel. Are oh, we going to have some fun? Howdy. Oh, a fate worse than hell. Hold on. Let's look around. Ooh. Trust nobody. Get in the paddy wagon. <gasps> Ooh, another big key. Haha, I picked up a big old key. They made you this way. It's a, it's a, it's a police car of the 1950s variety. I picked up a police revolver with six rounds? Excuse me? What? Where and how did I get this? Um, I guess the policeman dropped it when they got dead. <gasps> oh, what? What, what, what? Oh, hi. Oh! Oh, I don't know how I hit that second, that second one. Man, I got six rounds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn it. A grave error in judgment was to cost Subject 11 dearly. Little is known of the outcome of this dark day, but rumors persist about the spirit of Subject 11 remaining cursed here for eternity. Press escape to quit. Well, I don't want to quit. I want to try it again. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? This game boasts four different endings. And yet you have to start over from the beginning each time? I don't know about that, guys. That's... that's unfortunate. We need to go this way first because there's a key. I'm going to try not to get jump scared by the thing that's going to be at the end of the hallway here. I'm not even going to look at it. <laughs> nice try, Mudabix. Oh, there is something coming for me. Oh, 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 oh! I should not have turned... Oh, no! Curse the halls of the asylum. Subject 11 in the end perished to the treatment provided. Confined to haunt the asylum more forever. I guess that's an ending. And I guess the other one was ending. So technically we've gotten two of four endings. I'm going to try it one more time. I am insane. Having to do this over and over again is getting a little old. Okay. One last try. 
Okay. That's all my shots. I think I have no more rounds. Oh, freaking... Are you kidding me, a hedge maze? No. No, 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 no. No. Not a maze. Please tell me it's not like an actual maze. Please tell me I can just run through to the end, please. Oh, crap. No! Ah, despite showing resilience, Subject 11 finally succumbed to the effects of the years of experimentation. Legend says the spirit still haunts the halls of the asylum and beyond. Damn it, we were so freaking close! I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> I wish we could run. This would be a lot less arduous if I could run. Ooh, you'll never make it, but you probably will. Grab that key, grab that gun. Like, how do you know which way to go in the hedge maze, though? That's the thing. It's a maze. Oh, I don't know, I wish that I knew. I thought we, we were making good progress before. Let's just... Let's just go for it. You gotta be kidding me. No! All right, that's the last time I'm trying that. I don't want to go through all that again. Damn it! How do you freaking get through the hedge maze? I'm sure there's a way, and I'm sure we could get it if we did it often enough, but I've gone through this game, like, what, five or six times now? And that's enough for me, I think. It's just, it's just too bad there's no checkpoints or something. Having to go through from the beginning to the end every time, it's just, it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much.